Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome everyone to the May 20th Fountain Committee meeting. With me here from the committee are Bob Jones and Carl Sprague, and um, we are very pleased to have Hillary Dealey from the Laurel Hill Association here as well. First on the agenda, um, our review, the minutes. Did everyone have a chance to look at those uh, January yeah. 28th minutes? I thought they looked good. I'd move to approve them. Okay, great. Uh -oh. Second that. Okay, great. So that's all in favor, Carl, Bob, and Kate. Great. And then um, on to um, talking about the plantings. So we've got um, both both the watering trough and the cat and dog. Um, the cat and dog, of course, are at Jeff Jeff Gulick's studio. And the watering trough, I assume he will be working on sometime this summer on site. And, yeah. um, you know, what, what do you think, what do you guys think? And Hillary, what do you think about um, plantings for this summer? We, we, we're, you know, pretty certain that the cat and dog is going to be requiring some, some serious work that will involve digging up the ground. We need it. We need it. We need, we need a new, new basin. <clears throat> and a support underneath that basin. Right now, actually, I'll share out the picture of what's there so you can see it. Um, here comes Mike. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Yeah. So that's, you know, that basically you see that, that degraded brick there. That's all that there is underneath, underneath the basin. So that's definitely going to need some work. Mm-hmm. Yep. So are we, we're talking about the cat and dog right now, the plantings for temporary plantings to hide the mess that's going to happen or? I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering whether it's worth doing anything this year, given that the whole area is probably going to be dug yeah. up in a mess. Yeah. Well, it would be nice to do some sort of signage or something, in my opinion, that just says, you know, whatever, uh, where it could be funny, like the cat and the dog are at the, at the vets for the, <laughs> you know, for the rest of this, just because people are going to wonder, but I don't know, it's not my, it's just a thought. Yeah, no, but I think anything, uh, but, but doing any kind of like Big, big scale planting around the around the around the basin. Um, it's just going to get trampled. So there's, yeah. it, it's not worth it's not worth making the effort. Yeah, uh, that sounds right to me. And I like the idea of a sign. Yeah, yeah, just to let people know. I mean, uh, well, the cap can't. Yeah, the whole fountain's just going to be away. Like the the lid is not going to be there, right? That says because it could say something like um you know out of order i don't know that's next conversation because you have to think about it but mm -hmm. people right. are don't, ask why don't we do this why don't we i mean the, the the cover will have to be off um because the of covers off yeah the cover is off and it will have to stay off but why don't we between now and um you know the next week or so think about uh what you might like on a sign and um, send your thoughts to me and we'll move on that. Mm -hmm. Does that work? I like, I like it to that. I do too. <laughs> what do you, did you say, Carl? I said, I like at the vet. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, I like that too. Bob? I just made that up. Oh, yeah. Very much so, that's great. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's good. All right, so can we just, Agree to go with that then? Something like that, yeah. Boy, this is an efficient committee if we can make a decision. If you need, like if you that. need um, um, and 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 you know, you'll have to you have to hold my feet to the fire a little bit. But I mean, in terms of like actually producing a, a printing out a sign, you know, I mean, I can help with that, with that. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, good. Got it. Okay, so um, then, oh, we should talk about the plantings at the watering trough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think there's any particular reason to delay about those. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't even, 
really know the history of like why the um, um, the plantings that, uh, to be perfectly um, honest, I designed um, were ripped out and replaced by the stones and the water, the, the little flower pots that needed a lot of watering. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's no, there's no reason to delay particularly, you know, pulling up the stones that are there. I mean, wouldn't take more than an hour or something. And then, uh, and then, and then going back and, you know, putting in, I mean, the rugosas were good. They were hardy. They weren't going to get too tall and start obscure, obscuring traffic and, and so forth. And, uh, um, I, I, I don't know what else, you know, could thrive mm -hmm. in that little island, but, mm -hmm. uh, um, but, uh, you know, putting in like half a dozen little rugosa shrubs would, would probably be a good thing. And, and, and that's not going to get inter interfere with the, uh, with the, uh, 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 with patching the, with patching the basin which is bas basically what has to happen, you know. Carl, what did your original planting designs other than the Ragosa have in them? And well, I was thinking of all kinds of fabulous things like, you know, um, you know, fox gloves and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like, Biennial. But I was probably thinking- Probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't really thrive, but the, ro the roses we planted and they did do okay. Well, then I think- and They were pretty hardy and, and they looked good and they were, you know, sort of low profile enough as to not become a, a traffic hazard. And, um, and I, 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 I think it was, a, it was an okay solution. And they don't need watering, so, you know. Not much. And there's water right there. I mean, you know, I mean, especially once we patch up the tank, there, the, um, you know, I mean, all you have to do is like have a pail, you can, and, and, uh, and it's easy enough to water. I mean, there's like water, pl the plumbing isn't the problem. Well, one thing that we had talked about, and we have the, um, the engineering drawings for it. Uh, Mike, can you hear? Yeah, I can now. Okay. Um, one thing that we, you know, that we had those engineering plans for was, um, doing some putting in a, a watering spout so that, you know, whatever Laurel Hill wants to do there in the way of um, additional flowers or something, you know, they will have access to water beyond just getting it from the base, from the trough itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Water is always an issue with anything, even if it is a hardy to get it started, you know. Yeah. So. Almost nothing can, you know, survive no water when they're small. I was just going to throw in an idea of um, with the Rosa Ragosa, which I love, and our maybe some uh, lavender or Russian sage or something that would sure. be pretty. Absolutely. With the purple and the pink or. The pink. Yeah, no, pink. It's yeah. a great. It's a great spot. There's a lot of sun. Uh, and uh, you know, you just don't want it to become so much of a bush that, like, you know, the that the uh, that the, they uh, you know, that they, 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 they people start complaining about visibility. But I don't. I, that that hadn't been a problem. I don't think that was the issue. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on. I think when, that the issue was that well, the person doing the flowers felt that the rugosa need to be needed to be watered and that it was dangerous to cross over there to do the watering. So, um, but anyway, um, I love the idea of, I always loved the rugosa, but I also love the idea of the Russian sage and, and lavender. That does really well on the Berkshires, Russian sage, although it can get really high. Okay. Lavender, I have failures and then I have triumphs, but you know, there are some like Munstead and Hidcoat that are hardier, but I was just thinking of color wise, it would be pretty. 
Okay. No, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Okay, and we have a little bit of time. Well, no, I mean, um, so who do we go to, um, who do we approach to actually do do the do the planning work? I mean, do we have anyone in mind? Can we well, I, oh, excuse me, you go, do, Kate. Can't we just do it ourselves? I mean, is that big a deal? Um, maybe, I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Who's gonna pull up those work. I've, I've got to bring down my shovel. <laughs> well, wait. I had a question. So there's someone that we have hired, and you know, I'm so new in this job. Forgive me if I can't get every detail correct every second. But we have some young woman who's going to help us with the plantings, and I just don't can't remember her name at the moment. Um, and I assume that would include around the basin and next year, the cat and dog fountain. I don't know. I mean, you just, since you're so immersed in this and fluent in this, and I know you have experience from the Lennox Flower Club, can you just, Hillary, can you just sort of take this on, do you think? Well, I can certainly bring it, bring it to governance and ask what the, uh, I can find out. Yes. The answer is yes. Okay. That would be great. But we're no, doing we do it anyway. Anybody. I've got it. I even have a sketch from, from the old days, you know, that someone could take a look at. Um, oh, great. So, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send that to you. I, I'm, I'm not sophisticated enough right now to like, you know, find it, post it up here for us all, but um, oh, I, I, know. I can forward that to you. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. And then I'll find out. All I have to do is look through my emails. But that's what I'm saying as someone I don't know, because we did not go with that great woman, but she's so expensive, Valerie Loker, this year. So we've, we're changing course to save money. But okay. anyway, there is somebody that, um, uh, and I certainly can talk to the group. You know, I don't know whether it needs approval of any sort, we have- Well, it's gonna cost some money. I mean, um, and the question is like, who pays? You know, is that, uh, you well, know, the committee, uh, Laurel, Laurel Hill? I mean, you know, um, uh, we're talking about perennial plantings. Um, you know, I could easily imagine spending $500 there and, uh, and that's not even talking about the labor. So, uh, you know, you know who's, who's, uh, whose responsibility is that? Okay, well, that's the kind of thing that I would need to do some research on because yeah. I just have heard. Coral's, of course, that. always been very generous, but um, and but, and uh, Mike Mike Buffoni told me that getting the stones out of there is just like a question of an hour and an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's long. not a big deal. Yeah, that's no big deal. Um, well, who has in the past we has Laurel Hill always paid the entire amount, or does the Fountain Committee chip in? No, it's all, we don't uh, have a budget. <laughs> that again? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I really can't. Oh, we don't, we don't have a budget. I thought you were joking. Oh, you have no money? No. <laughs> well, okay. so in other words- not entirely true, is it? I mean- That's terrible. You should have money. Where, uh, why doesn't the town give you a budget? We have, we've applied for, Hillary, we've applied for um, funding from the Community Preservation Committee. Um, so, and I think probably, hey, Mike, do you have any money for us for the flowers? <laughs> um, if we're talking a few hundred dollars, we can find some money. Thank yes. you. That's the kind of support we like to hear. Great. Right. <laughs> uh, we're getting a lot done here. All it's I not going to be expensive. Down there and plant them. All right. So I think we're in good shape on the plantings. Anything else? No. Okay. Shall I move on to um, to the basin with with Bob? Yes. Okay. All right. Hold so, on. So maybe I should. Ex I think my purpose was to help with the. Um, with the trough and the plantings around that, or do yes, you want- You're more than welcome to hang out with us. <laughs> okay, I mean, I can give another 15. Yeah. I, I had one, you know, when it gets really hot, I had to go to Pittsfield and I had to, you know, I'm like- oh, oh, my Whenever God. you feel like cutting out, just cut out. Okay, well, I'll stay till 5.30. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the, um, the, uh, the picture of the, um, of the basin, so Bob can talk a little bit about that. 
And Mike, how are you doing? Can you hear all right? Yep. Okay. Oh, wait, before I go, I just got to show you this. Well, no, I won't do that. Okay, so here we are. Bob? Ready? You ready for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, uh, this picture uh, captures a heartbreaking moment. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, we knew there were problems with the bowl, there were cracks and everything, but, but uh, we, we really didn't anticipate uh, the structure as it is. Uh, I thought it was gonna be mostly concrete. Uh, what it is actually is they built a, a brick wall and stepped the bricks back uh, uh -huh. to give it a bowl shape and then basically coated that brick wall with concrete, a, a, thin, a thin coat of, and I'm absolutely amazed that it lasted as long as it did. And, and uh, I was disappointed because this, I don't think this is actually a great design even for 19th century work. <laughs> but we're stuck with what it is. Uh, by the way, those bricks, I can take any one of them, take a piece. I can actually break pieces off with my two fingers. That's how fragile they are at this point. So the, uh, the bowl is a loss. Mm. The only good news is uh, the curbing is all in good shape. None of it's cracked, none of it's broken. Yeah. Uh, the value of that curbing to replace it would be about $30,000. So yeah. we're, ahead of, we're ahead that far. It could all be reused and it's all original to the, to the fountain. Uh, the concern is how do, we re, how do we fix that bowl? And now I shouldn't even say fix. How do we replicate that bowl uh, to accommodate the, uh, the existing curbing? Uh, where do we find the resources for it? Where do we find the engineer who can de design something um, to replace it? And those are questions that are still up in the air. I don't know how much time it's going to take, uh, but uh, that's, that's all the, that has to be done first. We have to come up with a, a plan and a design. And then of course it ha would have to go out to bid. And, uh, and I don't know, I have no idea about the timeline there. But unfortunately, the report is that the bowl is really a complete loss. Well, basically, I mean, it's just a little a little swimming pool. Um, um, so you're thinking that, you know, my 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 kind of like, you know, totally amateur um, idea was that we would just, you know, put a big fat layer of concrete on top of what's there already um, and make it solid and watertight. But um, you're saying yeah. that it actually need, needs that to get- be done. That's and, that, that, that's and, so you, and I'd you're... like to, at this point, bring in Mike, because um, Mike and I did talk about this and Mike did a little, did some, did some work on this. Um, Mike, can you, can you um, share what you've learned? Mike? Uh-oh. No, okay. So he's not connecting well, but he did. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Hello. Hello. Uh, not too so well. Did, uh, no. no, not um, great. I'm breaking up on you. Okay, yeah, uh, you're kind of not cutting in too well. All right, so I'll do my best. Can you hear? Oh, he's gone. All oh, right. God. This is what I know. Um, Mike had called somebody he knows to get a ballpark figure for redoing the basin, you know, the, both the, the basin support and the basin itself. So um, we've gotten that figure and, you know, it's just a sort of a ballpark estimate. But I think that, you know, that is definitely what's going to be involved, Carl. Um, and what is the figure? <laughs> You said thirty thousand dollars. No, no, it's 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 lower than that. Um, Good. Just just an estimate was around eighteen to twenty, so we should be okay. I think that's findable, right? I mean, you know, we should be able to fig figure that one out somehow. Well, we have the you know, assuming that the CPC get uh, request gets approved at town meeting, then right. then we're covered. We are. There you go. Okay. I mean, even with even with um, even with um, with uh, the, the 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 sculpture renovation. Okay. Great. 
Yeah. I, I would just like, I just would like to, uh, if I'm looking, hearing 18 to 20,000. It sounds to me like they are going to simply do like a gunite cap over what's no. there. No, that's to do a, you know, Mike was, Mike, are you here? Can you hear now? Are you here? I can, I can hear now. I, I dropped you there. Okay. So what I covered, Mike, was the conversation we had and that you had reached out to somebody about the concrete support and basin. Um, and can you just confirm what I've just told the committee that you've gotten a price that would be covered by the CPC request that we currently have out? Yeah, reaching out to uh, um, Billings and Grady and them about just pouring a foundation and pouring the uh, bowl itself, just cement. Um, 18 to 20,000, that would be with the town excavating and then just the pour happening by the other companies. So that was the approximate cost that they gave me. Um, so I, I still want to see, a, a, I still want to see a better drawing of the, I mean, maybe we have it now I'm, 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 and I'm missing something, but I want to see a good drawing of like what the basin should should look like what we want the finished product to be um the depth you know everything about that you know and um and i'm not sure if that's in our documents already or not i, I think carl that that um, we decided in measuring carefully everything that if we replicated exactly what's there that the depth is not going to be a problem good and, and uh, uh, so you can actually work with exactly what's there as a. So we can just re, we we can just replicate what we have. Replicate it. It's gonna. We already have the template. So. It's okay. The, it's the twenty six inches is the the depth limit, right, Bob? That's correct. Okay. No. Oh. Okay. So yeah. And, and if 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 you uh, if, I mean eighteen to twenty thousand sounds incredible to me, but if you have somebody who can do something that's going to that's going to last. Uh, uh, then, then I have no objection whatsoever. I'm not. I haven't seen the plan, but if if if, if they if it comes with some sort of uh, uh, warranty or guarantee, then great. I think that's great. Well, the last solution lasted for over a century, so I feel like uh, anything we do now is probably going to be okay. Good. Well, I'm, I'm, I know it's a lot of it's going to be a lot of hard work for me to stay alive to hold them to their word, but uh... <laughs> none of us are volunteering for that job. <laughs> okay. Uh, so is this where the name Jeff Gulick came up a couple of times? Is that the person? Jeff is doing the renovation on this on the sculpture. Um, oh, okay. I just saw uh, his name and he's, I thought he's got a studio down who's tonic. He's he's not gonna deal with the basin at all. That's not his that's not his kind of thing. But the uh um but he's doing great he's doing um I, I, I was down there with uh, uh actually I went down there with with Josh uh, um uh, a couple of weeks ago and 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 saw the prog progress he was making and and it's 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 great. I mean he's being incredibly scrupulous, uh, uh, the statue, the original statue itself looks really good. It's been very, it's been all cleaned up. Uh, he's going through stages of take taking castings, um, molds of 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 every every part of the sculpture. Uh, uh, he's discovered some things about, you know, the cat and the dog. And the other animals and so I forth. heard that kind one was a girl and one was a boy. I'd love that's to exactly the dog's a female and the cat is a male. Yeah, the, the cat, cat is a male. Yeah, and the cat oh, the way around. By the way, whatever. Anyway, oh, it's the, the other cat, way around, Carl. The cat's caught a rat, and um, and that's what they're fighting over. Yeah, um, and then he was like, you know, absolutely obsessive about the serpent. Right. Which is interesting because he thinks it might have been the overflow for the for the fountain mm -hmm. that like, you know, that like, like, as you have in a bathtub, like, with the, you know, like, or something like that, like, like, you know, this is where the water goes out to keep the level. So there's a serpent that has a wide open mouth. Anyway, very difficult to cast, apparently. Uh, 
but he's been doing that. And um, so I don't know uh, how much progress he's made since I last spoke with him, but um, he seems to be moving right along and um, he's, he's, he's being, you know, very, very scrupulous about it. And we'll have, I guess, a, uh, uh, some kind of um, tri trial mold, uh, trial casting um, that he can work up to make sure that, um, that some of the pieces that have been lost over the years uh, uh, are re restored and, um, and he's a great sculptor, so I'm not I'm not concerned about like his ability to do that, and and then we'll. Uh, oh, so Carl, up. I want to um, keep things moving here. So basically, so Hillary and Carl are going to sort of back and forth on the plantings, and I will work with Mike on the basin for the cat and dog, and and I will pull Bob in if I need to. Is that okay, Bob? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Um, all right, so it's almost 5.30. Is there anything else that we need to cover or are we all? I just wanted to say, I just met, Carl's dissertation was interesting. I spoke with, uh, recently with Leslie Sienga, whose father was Warren Haywood. Uh, yeah. He was the former building inspector in Stockbridge for, for many years. That. And I was talking to her about the fountain and she said, did anybody find the serpent? <laughs> And she got that from her father, and she said, "There's supposed to be a serpent somewhere in the, in the basin or in the base, and it, it was supposed to be about the underlying poison uh, in the community or something like that." <laughs> oh God, this is great. I, I, I haven't explored the metaphorical aspects. Oh, yeah. There's Le definitely Leslie's a serpent. Uh, Leslie's the drama's all right there. Yeah, got that from her father uh, decades ago. So uh, that is just part of the story. So I wish I could see a picture of it now. The, yeah. the serpent hasn't been seen for, it's broken off and gone. No, 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 the serpent's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's been there the whole time. You just don't, you know, no one's really paid attention. Yeah. Well, I mean, I Hillary, if you want, you can go down to Jeff's studio and, and you know. Oh yeah, let's well, take a road trip. It's fun. It is fun. He's loquacious, it takes a little while. He loves to talk about the moulage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I heard a lot about moulage. Yes. And it's hard to get um, the talcum powder that he- Oh gosh. Yeah, right now because of, you know, the whole um, baby powder and asbestos thing. Yeah. That, yeah, that turns out baby powder is a big problem. All right, so um, I think that's it. It's a beautiful day. I have mowing to do. Oh, yeah. Back <laughs> into it, yeah. I'll do my investigation. And also look at the budget because I don't know. Yeah, but, no, and I'm and happy to. to Michael and to, Hillary, let's let's you and I talk with your uh, with your with your landscaper person. I mean, but I think yeah, uh, yeah, I just got it. Yeah, she, I I haven't seen that she started. And there's no real reason why we can't even like start doing that right away. I mean, it doesn't have to wait. You know? I think it does, Carl. I think there's some plumbing that's going to go on, but I can check oh, yeah. out that as well. Okay. okay. So I don't think we should plan on doing anything right away until we have the green light from- Well, that's for sure. Yeah. So, it is, right. and it then- From, from yeah. home, from Mike, did you say? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I have the green light. I, I want to make sure this is coordinated because the town yeah. staff are working on the, the plumbing part. So, yeah. you know, let me touch base with Mike on the watering trough. And then I will just mention that um, I do pot potentially have an interested um, donor in this project, so maybe we have. Oh yes. So, Great. Um, but we're not getting into that now, Carl. And so maybe, um, you know, we will have some some funding for for landscaping. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll double check and see if we have it, a line item in the budget. All right. So we've got some things to to do before the next meeting, and um, but you know we're really waiting now. We're going to wait on that town meeting to see. Sorry about this. Um, to see if um, the, the, the if, if there's the request. Funds are approved, is approved. Yeah. 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 What did you ask for out of curiosity for the CPC grant? Um, I think it's uh, thirty thousand. Oh, good. Yeah. Does that sound right? I have to double check. Bob, does that, okay. does that sound right? 
don't remember. I don't have it in front of me. Let's put it down. Yeah, no, but that's, I mean, it's, it's at least that. Somewhere in that ballpark. I have to double right, check. Right. I'm sorry, I don't have it. I'll email you, Hillary, okay? okay. Oh, no, you don't have to do that, Kate. I just was curious. Okay. I don't need to know. Okay. All right, so I think we're all set. Um, is if unless anybody has something else, I'll, 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 I'll entertain I'll a motion. Move to adjourn. Okay. I'll second it. Great. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Enjoy the afternoon. Thank yeah. you all.